Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we have quite a decision to be making about whether we should kill the princess, go find her, ignore completely, that sort of thing. We're probably being lured into a trap that will start some sort of war. We want to prevent a war. However, before I do that, I'm going to try to do some optional stuff. First off, am I able to leave this way? Where are we? Wait. Are we really? That's where we are? This is that beach. Yeah, now that I uh, get a good look at it. Yeah, this is that beach. Wow, so... They built this entire town in the three or four weeks that I was unconscious. Boy, it's a good thing that I'm already dead, or I would have died during all that time. Let's go ahead and do some optional stuff now. Let me first off save again. Hmm? Would you join me? Don't get too cozy. Alright, now let's find Matoma and fly off to Ring. You want to head to the Violet District for a person. Hello, Perrin. I see you are with others. We will have our conversation regarding the princess once we can be alone. Okay, cool. Who do I talk to about getting this thing up in the air? The cold rod has graced me with his presence. What mystery shall be unraveled this time? And so, once again, our understanding of the universe expands. Okay, well, at the very least, I know where we are. So I'll just walk there, I guess. Or run there at lightning speed, thanks to this magical cloak. And there we have our disguise. Oh, uh, we can't use the cloak while in disguise, by the way. Alright, I still have that boat thing. Now, which district was the Violet District? And this seems to be Blue District. Violet District would definitely be in the south. Boy, been a while since I've been here. down here. So I wonder who this person we're talking to is. At this point, at this point I kind of go ahead and trust Varkin. Kind of think of it. What the... Do you have any spells on hand? You have Blustering Aura. Increases critical hit chance for 60 seconds. Oh, that sounds useful. Did I ever try to check these things? Guess not. They seem to be whatever make the island float. Or maybe not. It is Mitoma who actually was involved with that. I'm surprised that the island is still floating, actually. Hello there, traveler. Um, I was hoping to get an explanation about this blood smearing on this. But I guess not. Thankfully, there's not too many people in this district. So, that kind of narrows down places that I should look for the people I'm looking for. Let's start with you. Um, let's see here. Nope, not you. Maybe you? 
does not speak to work to you. Okay. This is Violet District, right? Yes. Is there anybody up on the island now? It was Mitoma and her daughters before, but they're back in our new base. No, uh, does not seem to be anybody here now. Oh, there you are. You, you are the one I want to punch. I think. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa. How in the world did you find me? Yes, this is the person I want to punch. I'm going to punch you and I'm going to shave your head. Don't ask me why I want to shave her head. It's just something that I find myself wanting to do for some reason. Anyway, your message told me, Piastol. No, I mean... Wait, Varkin? You're with... Oh, for goddess's sake. You've tricked me. Twice. No. No. Look, I didn't know he wasn't going to be there. He must have known you were coming. Only one rance I saw... I only ran once I saw the trap. There was no way I was going to convince you otherwise. I didn't want to give myself up to them so quickly. Wait. You two... Know each other? We've... Met... I'm going to have to apologize to the other girl. They have the same facial expression, so I thought they were the same person. Ah, right. Of course. So tell me, then, what did you try to take from him? I doubt you succeeded, as it takes a bit longer to cajole Perrin than you'd expect. I took nothing. He escaped both ambushes. Both? The second one was an accident. Right. Well, goodbye, Piastol. Stop writing to me. Wait, please. I need your help. I think Jackal's catching on to me, and I don't want to do this alone. Ugh. Jackal again? You screwed me over enough with this fictitious character. Oh, so we both hate her then. Good. Can I punch her? Let me guess. He's hiding somewhere, and you know just where to find him, yeah? Maybe. Bye. Varkin, don't you get it? You're the last person I trust. Everyone else is gone. How surprising. She sighs. Look, if you're not going to help me, then I'm going alone. And I'll be killed. In fact, as a last request, I'll ask that my corpse be sent to you. Is that something you can live with? If I help you with this, Perrin is coming. You know I don't like... Then I guess I'll have to decide what to do with your corpse. Fine. He can come. He sighs. Where is it? East Desert. Far north of the entrance. It's a ruined keep. Oh, hey, I know that place. So we get to unlock it, huh? Gonna think of it, there's a couple places I found that need unlocked at some point. Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound like a decent spot for an ambush at all. Jackal moves around a lot to avoid being caught by authorities and upset parties. This is one of his spots, and I know he's going to be there for this week. I'm going alone. If you two decide not to come, well then, as I said, you'll see me again. How about we just come with you, and while we're at it, we handcuff you to Varkin. I'm sorry about what she's done to you. 
I should have killed her when I had the chance. I won't let that happen again. You know, I had my doubts about you, Varkin. But suddenly, I think we're going to be good friends. In hindsight, I probably should have went through the south exit. It's longer, but I would have been able to put my cloak back on. Oh, while we're here, though... Actually, it's a good thing that I'm going in this direction. Hmm, I wonder what happened to the Uniters. Uh, I'll have to come back here and see if I can get anybody to join my cause. But for now... I would like to withdraw. Certainly. Here are your earnings. Wow. Okay, that was a lot better than the last time I was here. <laughs> uh, coming, come to think of it... You know, I haven't mentioned this before, but I like how everybody in this game seems to be some sort of fool. Except Perrin. Okay, let's optimize your stuff. Let's not do the health thing, let's give you the experience thing. And as for weapon, Katori Staff. Oh wait, hold on a sec. Change my mind. Oh, you you can't uh, you can't equip that one thing. All right, we'll do this the old-fashioned way then. Okay, hopefully this will be the end of this. Because I'm kind of tired of dealing with that girl. And I still haven't memorized which button is which for that. You know, it's a good thing we're getting close to the end of the stream. I'm not ending yet, but I just wanted to say that because... Or Gaia will be leaving comments on this stream after it's over and let me know... Whether I should go ahead and talk to Mitoma or not. Whether Mitoma is going to be a direct course to plot or whether we'll just be allowed to fly everywhere instead of walking along like I'm currently doing. Piastles joined us. Good. If, you, if we wound up coming here, and you weren't here, I would have been so uh, annoyed. Okay, I know it looks bad, but his room is on the second floor. Somewhere. Let's just get this over with. Oh boy, I'm at a much higher level than the last time I fought these. These should go down pretty easily. I'm not even sure if I need my teammates for this. All right, lying fool. I got. Might as well give you something to wear. Give you. No, you can't equip the thing either. Reminding myself what it is here. The blue right scarf. Can't seem to equip that to you. So, let's give you. The adventurer's helm to give you double experience. Anything else that sounds fun? No, not there. Firelight Aura is definitely useful, but don't necessarily need it for the moment. I'll give you a potion just in case. And we'll save here. That'll increase my collection without having to use up another file.
Hold on a sec. Let's give you something else. Oh, uh, we don't have anything else we could use. Uh, we could give you the Brute Smasher. Possibly. No, those guys are a bit out of range, unfortunately. I just remember something. I like the flail better. Okay, we definitely have some treasure to find here. Are these just a level 1 bass? Yeah. Well, at the very least, this trip is getting us some more treasure. Mana amulet? Eh. Okay, you guys come back over here, please. Come over here, please. I still haven't quite figured out exactly how getting my characters to retreat works. I'm fairly certain it's the same button that I used to send them out in the first place, but it doesn't seem to do a good job calling them back. Okay, there's the rope up to the next floor. Did I miss that treasure? No, I have not missed that treasure. Okay. Somehow managed to get my teammates back to me. Alright, let's get this treasure then. An elixir. That's a pretty good item. Level up for me. You know, for as long as this adventure has gone on, I'm surprised that we're not at a higher level. Save Rabbit. Okay, Piastle's still with us. I don't understand. He should be here. I scouted. I watched all of his movements. He should be here. I can think of a reason why he isn't. Jackal is real, Varkin. It's possible he's just out, or late, or something. He could be here any minute. Stop it. Seriously, just stop. I've had enough of Jackal. I've had enough of you. You brought us all the way out here, you endangered my accomplice, you've created this years-long charade, and for what? To get another handful of gold? What the hell is the matter with you? Settle down, Varkin. Don't tell me to settle down. In fact, I'm going to do just the opposite. I'll let you get away the last time, but I can't do that again. What are you saying? I'm saying that for everything you've done to me, for all the people you've robbed or killed, you need to die. And I need to be the one to do it. I'm going to have to try to decide whether to let him kill her or not, aren't I? You wouldn't. You can't. He's going to be here. I promise. You have to be patient. Please. One more chance. That's all I'm asking. Don't look at me. Gosh dang it. Okay. I'm gonna side with Piastle on this one. But only because this time there wasn't a bunch of thugs ambushing us. You... 
you really do believe me? Perrin, you're letting her take advantage of you again. Don't do this. Don't keep making the same mistake I did. Just wait a little longer. Please, I beg you. He'll be here. <sighs> Dang it. Fine. But you're going to lay down on that bed and not move an inch for the entire time we're here. Okay, I agree with this. I was hoping that we would come to a decision like that. We're not letting her escape again. You want me to... lay down? It's harder to try and bolt for the exit if you have to push yourself up. Not that you'll get a chance either way. I'm going to watch you the whole time. Okay. One hour later... Missed opportunity to do the Spongebob narrator voice. This is ridiculous. What exactly did she do to you? Same thing she does to everyone else. She tricked me. I mean, we're here. We got nothing better to do. I'm bored. There's more to it than that. Tell me. He see. He sighs. I wasn't born here in the, the desert, you know. Ring. Red District. A few years after the northern event, so it was just beginning to expand. I met her when we were both children. I was rich. She was poor. A beggar. Sort of. She would trick adults into giving her food or money, if not just downright steal it. She tried to steal from my family and was caught. I talked my father out of giving her up to the guards. After that, we became friends. It wasn't until we hit our teens when the city saw a surge of a new kind of immigrant, the Yurak of Yuratieth, wishing to find a life outside of the culture they were forced into. As you can guess, there were a lot of people who disliked this. Daphnis accepted them, but it was probably only to lower the Yurak's guard for when we, for when he would eventually invade. While many didn't like them, the poor hated them the most. Suddenly there were more mouths to feed, and the Yurak were treated equally to the poor, if not better. But I get sympathetic to their plight. I was young, naive, spoiled. Piastle was more bitter, more world-weary. I'm beginning to understand why you really wanted to punish Daphnis and that sort of thing. As we got older, I helped them. I joined several sympathy groups to get them better treatment, and in doing so, Piastle became more distant. Then, years down the line, for no reason I can understand, the Yurak of Ring staged a violent coup and were subsequently and easily banished from the city. On that day, I had awakened to find that Piastel had turned me over to the guards, stating that I had organized the entire thing. I too was banished from my home. Well dang, no wonder you want to kill her. Here I only wanted to punch her. Uh, but not before I had tried to defend myself. Not before the guardsmen fought with me, cut me right in the face, in the eye. I've been blind on that side since. The Diaspora led us back to Eurotaeth, where I had lived for many years. You can probably guess the rest. Yeah, but I don't have time. I wondered for years why she did this to me, to the Eurak. It wasn't until later I pieced all of the evidence together. She's a con artist. Always was, always will be. Jackal was a name she had thrown out when I was being arrested. She tried to blame, pin the blame on someone else. Someone who doesn't even exist. 
For everything she has done to the Yurak and all those who have suffered because of her tricks, I must enact justice. She has to die. Now. Oh, oh my. She really is good at this. Well, I didn't think this is what it would take to get her into my bed. <laughs> Been a while, Varkin. And hello there, Colrod. Impossible. No, no, not exactly. I am quite possible. So then, she has invited you two for this? Piastol has always been very impatient. Uh, what's that? Jackal! In the flesh. <laughs> I'm not buying this. You're the one who organized the coup? What coup? The Eureka Ring. Oh, right. That. Bit of misdirection, really. I didn't care about them too much. I just didn't like my darling hanging out with a nobody like you, Varkin. Darling? And besides, it doesn't mean anything anymore. The Yurak are allowed back in. The Great Uniter has a queen who is quite persuasive, you know? Now then, I've had enough fooling around. Piastol, please show these gentlemen out for me. I'm a vanilla kind of guy, so... We're here to kill you, Jackal. Oh. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh crap, I have that equipped? Oops. No, wait. He's got the bombs. Uh, everybody, go ahead and start attacking him, please. And I died. Oops. Well, that would explain why there was a save point there. So I uh, wound up dying there. Because I was kind of thrown off by the bombs. I thought that I was somehow accidentally throwing bombs all over the place. It said it was this guy. Go figure that there's somebody else in the game who can toss bombs around. Hold on a sec. Just remember something. Do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of that. You also have it, but let's uh, instead use your ability to get us some money for a bit. Now, is there something else I could use? Something that would... Uh, I don't think we have something that would help with that. Because him ability, him able to heal is certainly not useful. Oh, however, us ba boosting my stats definitely helped. He was not able to recover as fast. It's done. Finally. Let's get out of here. For the first time in my life, I feel like I owe you an apology. And for some reason, that feels nice. Well, I'm just glad it's over. I'm free, and you got your revenge. And the truth. She sighs. Now I suppose it's time for me to find a new home. Again. Come back with us. You're joking. You trust me enough that quickly? I'm an optimistic idealist. First things first. I'm sorry that I got you ambushed, Perrin. Twice. Trust me when I say I'm done with that life.
maybe I wanted a con artist? No, no. Apology accepted. Well then, that's good enough for me. I'll come back with you. I'm glad. Me too. Glad that has definitely been, uh, taken care of. Well, as I said, I was going over time because we were right at the end of some sort of resolution, and it is a satisfactory resolution. Uh, I guess I don't have to shave her head. Anyway, we are done for today. Next time, we'll go ahead and head back to town, and by then, Orgaya will have responded to me about whether I should go ahead and talk to M Mitoma again. Until then, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.